Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, use molarity and some stoichiometry to figure out an unknown. Um, let's look at this problem. It says, how many milliliters of this concentration of sodium hydroxide contains enough sodium hydroxide to react with 15.4 milliliters of this concentrate of H2SO4? Hmm. We got a lot of information. Now, let me tell you why you're not going to use M1V1 equals M2V2 here. For one clear indication, they give us an equation. And they mention two different types of um, things. They mention an acid and they mention a base. Uh, so since these things are two totally different, meaning it's not all H2SO4 and it's not all NaOH. That's why you know you don't use M1V1 equals M2V2. And I'll tell you this, a lot of people will do that on this problem and do it incorrectly. Because if you notice here, the ratio of sodium hydroxide to H2SO4 is not equal to each other. It's 2 to 1 here. So that's another reason why you have to use stoichiometry on this problem. Anyway, let's go ahead and start to label the given information. This problem's kind of long, so uh, just bear with me. I hope I don't run out of room. All right. Uh, right now, how you given information? They mentioned how many milliliters, so they're asking us a question on the NaOH. So I'm going to put a number sign in ML right there. And then I read on and I see this concentration. Now, on the concentration, I'm going to write a little bit differently. I'm going to write it 0 0.124. Instead of writing a big M, I'm going to write the word mole, and I'm going to put it over one liter. Because, remember, molarity can be used as a conversion factor, and that's what I've done here. Now, here they mentioned that I had 15.4 milliliters, and they give me a concentration of 0 0.108 moles over one liter. So just make sure you change these big M's to moles over liters. Now, after that, you just work it like you normally would. Now, if you remember uh, from other problems that I've worked, you, you'll you notice that I will always start with the volume. The question is, which ones do you start with? Well, this side's got an unknown. This side, everything is known. I'm going to start with this side because I've got this is known, this is known. But on this one, I've got an unknown. So let's start with this volume. So you'll write down 15.4 milliliters. Okay? I'm going to put that over 1. First thing you'll do is you'll convert that to liters. There's a 1,000 milliliters in 1 liter. After that, I've got that converted. I need liters to go down here. So I'm going to use uh, this number here. And one liter, I'm going to write that on top, 0 0.108 moles. Moles of what? Well, look what I wrote it under. It's H2SO4. Okay. Keep going. Now, instead of jumping straight to this, you have to look at these numbers up here. There's a one right here that you don't see. That'll be written here. You've got one mole of H2SO4. Then, up here you have two moles of NaOH. Now, one reason also I know to use molar ratios there is this. The rules have been in this in the past. The second and third time that you write moles, you should use a molar ratio. Well, duh, here's moles the first time. Here's the second and third time. It's a molar ratio. Rules really haven't changed that much. Okay. Now, you need moles of NaOH down here. The question is, from where? Right here. You have 0 0.124 moles of NaOH. Up on top, guess what I'm going to write? I'm going to write this one liter. Now, I could stop there if they wanted liters, but they didn't want liters. They wanted milliliters. So I'll go one more step, and down here in one liter, I know there is 1,000 milliliters. There, and there's that step. Look how many steps that is. One, two, three, four, five, six steps. So let's punch that in a handy dandy cheater later. Uh, that's 15.4 times 0.108 
times 2, see 15.4 times 0.108 times 2 times 1,000. That's 3,324, uh, 3,326.4. I want to divide that by the 1,000 and divide it by the 0.124. Whoops, I punched that in wrong. 3.3264. Divide that by the 0.124. And I get the following. I get 26.82580645. That's if I punched everything in correctly. Let's check and make sure. So that's a bunch of punching in. 15.4 times uh, 0.108 times 2 times 1,000. I want to divide that by 1,000 and I want to divide that by 0.124 and I get the same number. Now if you look I've got 3 sig figs, 3 sig figs, 3. So I need 3 sig figs so that'll be 26.8. Look to the right in that round. Nope. So that'll be 26.8 what? Milliliters. Okay. Milliliters of what? Well it was NaOH. Now, just make sure you watch this video uh, several times or a few times, however many times you need, to make sure you get it down pat. But it's just trigonometry. Just match up your units diagonally, and you will be fine. Okay? All right, guys. I hope this helps.